So what I'm planning on doing now is my Petal Fish 10, the rudder system. It basically, the direction you point it is the way it turns the rudder. So you, if you want to go left, you push it left. If you want to go right, you push it right, which is the opposite to a tiller steer, your normal outboard motors and that, which I'm used to. So just finding it, yeah, it's a bit more confusing and I've got another kayak in there that has a um, outboard motor. So you're, you're doing everything opposite. So what I'm now going to do is look at swapping these two wires over, but you'll see they've, um, melted over the ends there so you can't just pull them out it'll be the same in under there so which is a bit of a pain you just can't pull them out and do them so what i've done i've gone to bunnings four millimeter rigid sprinkler pipe so i'm gonna have to cut that one out pull it out swap them over and rerun it and that's the stuff i'm going to use to replace it just heat up the end, ran it off, and then it can't pull through. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so just undone all the uh, Allen keys out of there, the bolts with the Allen key. That gets you in under there. Taking the rudder off there. You can kit that you buy it with has um, you've got the two wires in there and there's a little grub screw so you just undo that with them wires loosen them off and they'll pull out nice and easy undone that the grub screws loosen off the wire and just pull that out of there Lovely, now I've got to work out which one's going to what. And swap them over. So I've just used a lighter just to slightly melt the end there. And um, screwdriver in there, just twisted it around just to round it off, make a a bit of a, um, a flange, so that, that's what it's like on the original one. So very easy to do. So you got those two in and done, just pulled them through there, inside there, and ring along, out here, so now, just got to pull them reasonably tight, and um, cut them off. And it's the same thing, just melt the ends on them as well. Got them done. So now it's got to feed the uh, wire, the wire back through there, and connect it up. Let's see how she goes. All right, so I pulled those wires nice and tight. Got that straight. rudder straight and just done them up with the grub screws and the allen key in there and now we've got it working like a tiller steer no more confusing on my behalf anyway easy little conversion didn't take long probably 20 minutes all done so I just took about 20 mil off the bottom of that, that little bit that was hanging out from underneath. So now, that goes there, it's just going to be under that. So when I'm dragging it through uh, shallow areas, she's not putting added pressure on it. But we'll see how it goes if it compromises the steering too much. Then I'll have to buy another one. So I made me little mods. Haven't noticed any real difference in the steering, um, so that's good after trimming it down shorter. Still, still turns nice and tight.
Yeah, so very happy. I'm glad I cut that rudder down. And I've got my steering tiller steer. It's working. Heaps easier to to use, or it's what I'm used to anyway. And I've just got a lure out trolling. Uh, sitting 5 k's an hour, and that's pretty comfortable. Good trolling speed as well. You could do that almost all day. Not very happy. Good little mods. So don't be scared to cut your keel down if need be, your rudder.